Yeah, baby. Welcome back to Detail It. So today, guys, I'm going to do another product from Mirror Finish Polishes. This is his Black Plastic Renew. It's a trimmer store, guys. So I'm going to set you up right here real quick. Let's see. I have cleaned the lower balance under the license plate there. So let's see here. Yeah, I'll probably do this half and uh, bring you guys in. I'll probably bring you in a little bit closer to apply this. Probably really oily. It's glossy. Um, I wanted to do this area first to see if I like it. So I kind of just like the black look, the new look. I don't necessarily know if I want glossy though. So that's why we're going to start off with the lower balance just to see if this is something that I would use. But uh, I'm thinking it is says that it will repel water gives it a good rich look so let's just get to it I've already cleaned this two or three times um, it doesn't say anything about letting it stand and then buffing off so I'm going to just apply it and go from there let's see what happens oh, yeah sorry about the butt shot getting good about those butt shots aren't I sorry about that well <laughs> little note here guys don't be squeezing the bottle when you open it. It just spurt it all over the balance here. So it's easy on right now. It's not real grabby. I can honestly say so far I like it. Of course, it's too early to tell. Um, dang, if it dries like that, it smells really like solventy, oily. I don't know how to describe the smell. And I have a horrible glare. I hope you can see that. Can you guys see that down there? Can you see that line? Right there. It's a big difference right now. I'm going to leave you guys down low. Let me keep working this area real quick. So far this is simple, man. Dang. Even if you only get three months out of this one. Which I don't know longevity, durability. But it's so easy. But like I said, it doesn't say anything about, you know, dwelling and buffing off, so. I'm going to wipe it on and just leave it on. I'm not going to come back and knock it down or nothing. I thought this was going to be glossier, and I'm glad it's not crazy glossy. I thought it was going to look ultra wet, like his premium tire dressing, but it's not. Just looks rich and black, black and rich, rich and black, black and rich, however you say it. Just looks good, how's that? And this was cleaned three times, guys, with uh, various degreasers, scrub pads, and um, brushes. Uh, the cleaning is, is key, and the cleaning Is actually most of the work so seriously I mean I don't know if you guys can see that looks good and dark man I've been hunting for some things from Gino to keep using and this may be the one it's probably gonna be more than one I'm gonna keep his uh, premium tire dressing for my wife. She likes that real wet look on the tires. I don't. She likes the glossy look. So it looks like over here, I may need to get my brush. I use those cheap foam paint brushes, you know. Walmart, like a buck a piece to get up close to the chrome there. But let's keep moving, see what it looks like. Sit on the ground here. Fat boy on the ground, don't roll me back into the ocean. Oh Lord. So far, I like this stuff, man. Really good. Trim isn't fun, though. Kind of a pain. You have to get in all these little character lines, get up close to your chrome. And I'm not going to worry about cleaning the chrome, either, because 
uh, tomorrow or Monday, this pickup will get a bath for the week, right? It's a work truck. The bosses like the equipment clean, so if there's anything on the chrome or whatever, I'll just wash it off tomorrow or Monday. No big deal. Okay. So it's kind of a boring video, a lot of dead air, I'm assuming here. But uh, so far I can say that I like his black plastic renew. So far so good. Uh, what's the durability? I won't know for a while, guys. If you'll come back to me in a month or two, I'll tell you what I think about it. I'm going to show you something on the back of this pickup, though, before we... Uh, conclude the video. I have another kind of trim restorer that I want to show you kind of what happened to it uh, after several washes and maybe it was install error, maybe it was me, but, and I don't want to badmouth the people that I'm going to show you uh, their trim product because they sent it to me free to try, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm extremely grateful that they let me try it, but I'm not sure that I like that product. Other people love it, other people recommend it. Well, teach their own, right? So look at that right there on the corner. Old and faded. That's the Renew by Mirror Finish. Listen guys, get on the web page, call Gino, and uh, give these guys some love. They're worth a shot, man. And if you're in uh, Central California, they're just a drive away, man. Selma. It's not very far from anywhere uh, in Central California. Okay. I'm going to show you some of the tools that I may use applying a trim restore or renew product. Just real quick. Here's some of the tools that you can use. I love auto fiber, so you can see all their... Uh, saver applicator, fingertip applicator, coating applicator. That one over there was Shine Supplies, inexpensive applicator, which is a black version of this white stripe, white one with stripes on it, which I believe is SM Arnold product. And then these Lake Country sticks. And then to clean it, I use degreaser with a brush, cheap brush from uh, Amazon. This is a skinny scrubber, basically auto fiber. I think I picked this one up though from Shine Supply. I think he carries auto fiber. And this is the one of the Scrub Ninja line from auto fiber. So, from here that looks fantastic, guys. Going into the sun, though. A little bit blotchy, it looks like. But I'll go back over it with that damp sponge here in another five or 10 minutes. Give it another look. But let's go back out here to my tailgate real quick. And not to badmouth this company at all. Uh, from here, look, 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 look. Can you see that line right out there? It's right there in the middle. So the left side was Solution Finish over here. And this was Sarah Trim by the last coat. Look how fast this one faded. This is the last coat, Solution Finish. You can definitely see a line right there in the middle, can't you? I can see it. So look how dirty this one looks though. Sarah trim. It faded really bad and it's holding the dirt really bad. See the line? It's right here. I can't see because of the glare on my screen. I hope you can see the line. Yeah, right here. Sarah trim, solution finish. Solution finish side looks better. Uh, Sarah trim faded quick, look. They were put on the same day. Anyway, back to this one. This one looks really good, dude. Deep and rich. I love this so far. But, you know, hit me in a month. Remind me, guys. Maybe uh, Independence Day. July 4th, I'll do an update on this one real quick or something. So that, that pretty much wraps up today's video on the Gold Standard product. Gold Standard Series. Mirror Finish Polishes. Plastic. Black Plastic Renew. So far, looks rich. And beautiful guys, give Gino some love. Uh, mirrorfinishes.com or mirrorfinishpolishes.com. I'll put the uh, email address in the comments section. 
or the description section below. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Like this video. Share this video. Get some more followers out there. The 1,000th subscriber. Maybe I'm going to send you this one. The Black Plastic Renew by Mirror Finish Polishes. Said I was going to give something out for free, so maybe it's this product. Take another look at that. Beautiful Old Glory. And some rich black plastic trim. Yeah, baby. See you guys next time. Thank you very much for the support. Like the video, share the video, get some subscribers. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.